Today I'm comparing four different brands of chalk spray paint to find out which one is the best. I've tried them all and have some pretty strong opinions, so stay tuned to see which one comes out on top. When it comes to chalk spray paint, there are four main brands that stand out. Rust-Oleum, Magnolia Home, Krylon, and Bear. And we put them all to the test. All right, just so you know the setup of this comparison, we tested the paint on a desk with a laminate top and wood drawers. We cleaned the surface with crud cutter, then taped the top and the drawers into three sections. The first section was left as is. The second section was sanded with 220 grit sandpaper to scuff the surface and help the paint stick better. The third section was also sanded, but it was also primed with bin shellac based primer. After the primer dried for an hour, we taped the top into four different sections for each paint. We used each drawer for one brand of chalk spray paint. We sprayed a coat of chalk spray paint onto each section of the laminate. I could tell right off the bat that the Rust-Oleum did not have very good coverage. Magnolia seemed to spray really well. And then the first can of Krylon spray paint didn't work. So we exchanged it for a different can, which is annoying, but what do you do? So while Taylor ran to the store, I kept on spraying. The bare spray paint sprayed good. And then I sprayed all of those paints onto the wood drawers. I let the paint dry for about 45 minutes and then I sprayed a second coat. And then Taylor got back home, so I sprayed two coats of the Krylon chalk paint, letting it dry for about 45 minutes between each coat. And then we let all of the paint dry for about 48 hours. Then I scratched at each paint with just my fingernail to see if it would scratch or not. And here is what we found out. None of them scratched off of the laminate at all. What in the world? Regular chalk paint wouldn't be able to stick that well to laminate without sanding or priming. The Rust-Oleum chalked spray paint was very durable and only scratched the tiniest bit on the wood that hadn't been sanded. The Magnolia Home chalk spray paint scratched a little bit on the wood that hadn't been sanded the Krylon chalky finish spray paint was the least impressive during the scratch test. It scratched a little bit more than the other options on the wood that hadn't been sanded. The bare chalk spray paint scratched a teeny tiny bit on the wood that was sanded. Overall though, all of that is pretty impressive for drying for only 48 hours and not sanding in most of those cases. But obviously there are other factors too, right? Rust-Oleum Chalked comes in 14 colors and dries to a really pretty matte finish. It doesn't feel chalky either, which is really great in my opinion, so I wouldn't feel the need to top coat it. It didn't have very good coverage though, and it was one of the more expensive options. Oh, and it can only be used for indoor projects. Magnolia Home Chalk Spray Paint had amazing coverage and felt pretty similar to the Rust-Oleum Chalked. It can be used indoors and outdoors too, but it's also the most expensive option out of the four brands and only has six color options. The Krylon Chalky Finish Spray Paint was the least impressive to me. The first can didn't work, so we had to go get another can, but it did have great coverage and it can be used indoors and outdoors. 
It was the second cheapest option for me and it comes in 12 colors, but it scratched the most out of the four options and I didn't really like the spray tip as much. Oh, Krylon actually felt more chalky than the others. Bare chalk spray paint was the cheapest option and it was also tied for the best coverage out of the four options. It also dried to a really pretty matte finish and wasn't chalky filling. And it can be used indoors or outdoors, but there are only six color options. In the end, which one was the best? Well, which one has the features that are most important to you? They all work well as a spray paint. Actually, I think they are better than regular spray paint. I personally liked the Bear and Magnolia the best out of the four, mostly because I didn't have any issues with them. Check out the post on my website for a written breakdown of the pros and cons of each of these paints. I'll leave a link in the description. Have you tried chalk spray paint? How did it go? Let me know in the comments. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button so you can see more of our videos. Not sure what supplies you need for your furniture flip? We got you. Click the link in my comment to download our free list of must-have supplies that we use every day to paint furniture.